Hi, my name is Dadara and I've been an artist and painter all my life and I'm fortunate that I've regularly sold paintings and each time somebody buys a painting of mine it's clear that they own it. After all, they can hang it on our wall. But what is the value of a digital artwork hanging on a virtual wall of your virtual house in the metaverse so your avatar can show it to your virtual friends? That actually is a very interesting and fascinating question in these times. Because in these times, the digital world is not only an added layer to our physical reality, but we see more and more people migrating their physical lives to the digital domain. And with this project, I want to go deeper into the question of the value of the physical versus the digital. CryptoPunks are amongst the most famous NFTs nowadays. And these pixelated images get sold for millions at Sotheby's. And I see pixelated images pop up everywhere in NFT space. But for me as an artist, art has always been about expressing your soul. And it doesn't really matter if you use painting or drawing or writing or performance or a computer. But for me personally, I can't find an expression of the soul in these computer pixels. So when I created the Crypto Grayman, I decided to paint each pixel by hand. And I also signed them, not with a pixelated autograph, but with my own handwriting, because I poured my soul into each and every pixel. The Greyman became a character in my work in the mid-90s, and soon he became an iconic part of my art. I made a 9 meter high Greyman statue of no liberty, and I even took the Greyman to the Nevada desert to Burning Man. But after a few years, I stopped using him in my work and moved on to other, uh, to other figures, to other, explore other territories. But when I started in the NFT space, so many people asked me, are you going to mint a Greyman? And I really didn't feel like doing that because I never really liked to repeat myself and uh, it also felt like just a quick money grab. But now, for this project, he felt like the perfect fit. And people, there are some artists that have already been doing NFTs for like three, four years and they're considered the OGs of the NFT space. OG stands for Original Gangster. But since the Grey Man has been a character since the mid 90s, I go like, you know what? Maybe OG just stands for the original Grey Man.